Okay, what's up, YouTube? It's Pacey AI one more time. And man, do I got some very exciting news for you guys. So ByteDance unveiling two new video generation AI models to compete with OpenAI Sora. Definitely, guys, I want to show you this. So I do have some of the videos to show you. But guys, remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Now, before I show you the different generations that we have coming out of China from ByteDance, we want to talk about these two AI models. So the name of the AI models are going to be Pixel Dance and Seaweed. Now, Pixel Dance is supposedly the model which will be able to handle more sequential and complex motions and can produce videos of up to about 10 seconds long, while Seaweed not as complex, but will be able to generate clips of 30 seconds long. So this is pretty cool. This is really cool. And I want to show you guys some videos of what they were able to actually generate. So this video right here is their trailer and it's showing you all the different generations they were able to create with these two video models. So as you can see, the quality of this is pretty insane. It is pretty crazy. And obviously you can create videos in different styles. You can essentially do different things with videos, like put words in videos, action videos. So this is just really cool. As you can see and the consistency is great. And obviously these are cherry picked. So take it with a grain of salt. They're going to try to put the best videos out there. They're going to try to put their best foot forward. Introducing Ninja Chat. So Ninja Chat is a platform that allows you to use multiple different AI models to do different tasks. It integrates multiple AI models into one. So you don't have to play, pay for each of these AI models separately. It does give you some credit. So if you start with the basic plan, you get about a thousand credits per month and that equals a thousand messages you also get 30 image generations per month so if we look at some of the features so we have the ai playground and i'm going to talk about that a little bit more we also have ai images chat with pdf writing library and then we have the different ai models you can use so you have the chat gpt you have claw you have llama complexity gemini and your favorite grok when you go to a writing library, we have some different tools that we can actually use to improve our writing. Another very cool feature is chatting with PDFs. So you can actually chat with your PDF, upload a PDF right here, ask it questions and get answers. Also, if you want to generate image, there are two image generation models. So you have Stable Diffusion 3 and you have the newest Flux AI Pro model, which is the number one image generation model out there right now it is great for generating people objects environments and then finally you have the ai playground which is a feature that allows you to compare prompts from the different models that are on the platform so as you guys can see by default we have gpt 4.0 claude llama 3 and Mistral. So if I decide to ask the question, let's say I say, give me a breakdown. So essentially it will write out the response for each of these models. And then I can compare the response and determine which one I think is great. So definitely check this out. Ninja chat link is in the description to this one. Now I want to go ahead and show you some of the different video generations. So this is one of the video generations that they have on their website. I'm going to go through these one by one so you guys can see. Here's another video generation. And as you can see, the quality of this is pretty amazing. This is high quality HD footage and really, really cool. Very, very nice. These these results are pretty good. We're seeing a lot of consistency. Obviously, no craziness going on with these footage. It's, it's just short five second 
footage, five to 10 second footage. But as you guys can see, great consistency and it's doing very dynamic things. I wish I could show you the prompt to these for you to kind of see the consistency. Again, this is a nice one. A lady drinking coffee right there and then it's switching scenes. So as you can see, a lot of these videos are actually switching scenes. It's actually switching from one scene to the next to the next. So you have within this 10 second generation, you may have multiple scenes, which is something that AI video generation models are not great at. Obviously, as you can see, great consistency here again, nothing crazy. Uh, the fingers look OK. That's what I'm always paying attention to is the fingers, right? So the fingers look good. <laughs> That's one thing you got to pay attention to is the fingers, man. Here's another generation. This is pretty cool as well. This is really, really nice. Great generation right here. This is a cartoon animated generation. Again, really nice generation in space. Zoom in the camera out. She drops into a spaceship or something. Another cartoon type generation right here. So you can definitely do your anim animation style cartoons. Another generation right here, which is more of a creative type generation. Another generation right here, more of like a Pixar style. So showing you the variety of uh, different styles that it can do and anime style generation right here so just really really cool these look really nice man really really nice yeah so let me know what you guys think about these i think these generations are pretty good man uh let me kind of go over some more again so you guys can see so let me know what you guys think about these generations man i think they're really cool the consistency the quality can't wait for these two models to release so that we can go ahead and use them in our projects and things like that but let me know what you guys think though let me know what you guys think about this it is pretty pretty amazing uh what we're seeing from bite dance right now and the likelihood is that this is gonna be out next month sometime in november so we're gonna be able to use these at some point this year but not this month the, the likelihood is going to be sometime in November. So it's still a little bit of waste away to wait, but we definitely can still play around with mini max and play around with the other models as well. And as we wait for this model, but I think this one is going to be pretty good. So the competition is getting intense, it's getting fierce. We know what cling is doing. We know what runway is doing. It's just crazy with the video generation, man. Let me know what you guys think and have a great day. Pacey A.I. Sun now. Peace.